Welcome to The Boiling Point, Richie Ware, Steven Taylor, Director of the Rental Division. We're in a brand new 1,000 horsepower mobile boiler room that we are actually completing two of these to add to the seven or eight that we have in the fleet already. Yep. So uh, keeping on with the theme that we've been talking about as far as just uh, common parts in the boiler room and ran across the spents and the, the, the pressure um, reducing valve and just wanted to talk a little bit about what this actually is. Um, does what it mm -hmm. is and kind of go through that. They're they're in all the boiler rooms. Most of your boiler rooms have them. Anytime you have to reduce your um, boiler pressure for a feed system or a heat exchanger, you want to control pressure, temperature, whatever you're trying to control. They'll typically use a spence or a spike sarco or something on that nature. This is a it's a pressure control valve, so it's a pressure reducing valve. And then the pallets that you put with it are either pressure temperature or combination pressure and temperature. Okay, all right. Now this is a Spence and we've actually got a Spirex Sarco. This is a Spirex Sarco uh, here. On the unit. On, on, the, on this deaerator in this system and, it, and it's strictly pressure. Okay. We want to maintain about five PSI in this deaerator system and that'll give us about 227 degree feed water to feed the boiler with. Okay. And so that, that Spirex is a, just a pressure control valve that reduces the pressure to five pounds and we can set it wherever we need to. So it, it's a very reliable valve now, for us. You're talking about five pounds, <clears throat> you wanna keep it at five pounds. What's this actually doing to do that? It's, uh, we have whatever pressure we have feeding to it and we size this thing where we can operate that boiler at anywhere from 100 PSI up to 225 PSI, mm -hmm. and the valve will still flow what we need to, to heat this deaerator up with. Okay. What it's doing, it's taking that 100 PSI steam, 225 PSI steam, and through these uh, sensing lines, it's reducing it on the outlet to five PSI. Mm -hmm. And it's got a set of, of diaphragms in here, and pressure from the outlet on the top side comes into the bottom side, based on the spring load up there mm -hmm. and when it puts pressure on that on those diaphragms that closes the valve off to equalize and it's strictly based on the valve the setting the spring setting you, you put on the on the top on that pilot okay now that's pressure only but there's pressure a, only. like you said there's also temperature and yeah. when would you use that uh, a preheated feed water system mm -hmm. where you want to maintain 180 degrees in the feed water system but you can't stand 100 pounds of steam going into it so it's a combination pressure and re and temperature control valve. So we're we're reducing the pressure, and you have an adjustment on there for three or four or five pounds, whatever you want to go into it. You also have a, an adjustment for temperature to maintain 180 degrees or whatever it is in that feed system. Heat, heat exchanger is the same way. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Something uh, very common in a boiler room. Uh, make sure you go out to boilerwarehouse.com. You can actually see a lot more about it, but also mm -hmm. maybe go out onto Google and you can. Uh, Google and look up what this actually does out there. So we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Steven stopping by and talking with us on The Boiling Point. Always great to have him with some super information. Now it is sunny and it is mid-April, so derby time is coming. So make sure you check out the Kentucky Derby coming up in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe share a video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.